We've all heard our parents say at one point or another, we have food at home. But eating out is so much better. So much better, but usually at a market you would get more for your buck, you know, you can buy things in bulk, and it's just a lot better. Yeah, that's true. In some cases, uh, not for us today, because we are at the most expensive supermarket in Los Angeles. It's called Air One. This place is even more expensive than Whole Foods, and yeah. Whole Foods is expensive. Yeah, this is like 10 times up. 10 times up, this is like where celebrities come to get their foods, and just the mega rich, this is where the one percenters shop for groceries yeah in the one percenter area Calabasas e exactly so uh, I got my credit card and they also have some fresh foods inside so let's go see what their uh, fresh food is really like in such an expensive supermarket let's go come on okay this place has got everything they got pizzas they got fresh coffee wellness bar organic coffee and juice bakeries oh, fresh juice. oh my god anything you want it's all branded by them too look at this one drink ten dollars and fifty cents oh my god the soup Oh, $15 for a bowl of soup. So maybe eating at home isn't cheaper. No. <laughs> but the thing in here is everything is like super healthy also. So it's like you're getting the best thing. Like I've never heard of bio-organic. Yeah, me either. Even, even like a can of chili at like a normal store is like 99 cents. Here, five, five bucks. bucks. But it's organic chili. So it's like everything you're getting here, it's like organic or it's very like homegrown. It's very healthy. And least. they're like aesthetically, like look how like aesthetic this is exactly like you'll never find uh, a can like this in ralph's i don't even know what the heck that is lentils interesting what the hell is a lentil i have no idea the most important thing is how much is a carton of milk let's find out raw oh milk God. 12 dollars for what is raw milk i have no idea but i i can't believe it would taste very good zero percent fish 100 percent taste interesting well let's grab a couple so we're gonna taste how fresh their salmon is. Do you wanna try one of those color, weird color rices? I'd be down to try one, but the thing is, is like, Jake, they really tax us on these prices. Look at this. That's like gonna be expensive. Like, we, it's almost better off for us to go to a sushi restaurant. Oh, for sure. But let's just grab one more and then let's get out of here and let's go try how fresh this sushi is because cool. I've heard a lot about this sushi. Sugar-free strawberry pie. Should we try it? I guess, why not? Let's go. <laughs> No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're straight up sitting on the ground. We're sitting on the ground on the back of my truck right now, and we're gonna try this hundred dollar supermarket sushi. We could have literally gone to a five-star sushi spot and probably had lunch. This is definitely on the higher side, but hey, they did say they had sushi chefs in the back that are making this every day fresh as can be. I did get some awesome shots. They actually have a pizza oven, brick oven, and they're basically making fresh pizzas every single day. Everything they have in there, that just a wide variety of food, all made fresh daily. They have chefs there at a supermarket, so that's pretty cool. Let's jump into this food and yeah. let's see what we got. I will say all the people were really nice too. They tried, they were gonna kick us out, but then he like, they recognized us and yeah. then said we can still do it. Just don't cool. film people. Yeah, that yeah. was really nice of them. So nice. Shout out to that guy. And they also have a very like unique selection of sushi. Like, like this never... is not stuff that you would get at Ralph's. Or it, like, or any supermarket. I don't even see this at a sushi restaurant. Exactly, like black rice. We also did get a uh, 12, you got the $12 one. You didn't spare no expense for I just us, huh? the color. So we did also get one of these drinks so we could try this. This one is Bohemian Raspberry Smoothie. Wow. You gotta do a chopstick test. This, oh! Oh my god. Are these They're ivory? They're bamboo. <laughs> They're bamboo chopsticks. Are they bamboo? Where does it say that? Just I don't making know. shit up now? I'm just making it up. This is mahogany wood, is what this it is. This is goddamn redwood forest. <laughs> <laughs> you can really tell how good a sushi restaurant is by their chopsticks. Yeah, if you have to pull them apart, if you have to scrape them together. Yeah, to if you them. are scared of getting splinters from your, your chopsticks, it's not a good sushi spot. This place. God dang it, I might keep I might, these. I might eat these. Uh, I might save them and reuse them at the future oh, wow, restaurants. Tastes good. Mmm, natural. So the first one I think we should jump into is the one that is calling out to my name. This is the crispy rice tuna right here. $16, let's see if it's worth it. Really mm. crunchy. Really crunchy. And way colder than I thought it was gonna be. Way colder. It's like they put it in a refrigerator for an hour before. That's where we got it from. Yeah. I don't really like the whole crispy rice thing though. Yeah, so we're not blaming it on air one. I just don't like it. I just don't like this roll. It's like chewing a rock. Yeah. When you first try to break that thing up, it's it's not easy. Look at this mouth. You still got the whole form of it on the I'm side. Lockjaw. Creasing my Jordans down here, guys. I'm taking them off. 
creasing the Jordans. I'm just not comfortable. <laughs> We're literally sitting on the sidewalk with my truck backed up against some businesses where there's shade. The next thing we are working with is the sushi firecracker roll. I'm thinking they call it a firecracker because it is red like a firecracker and because there's jalapenos on the top, which is definitely gonna heat up your mouth a little bit, so that'll be interesting. Fresh oh. onions, it looks like they have whole rice on it. It's not like white rice. Definitely very market quality, like, like it's just, too overly cold. It's way too cold for like sushi. Like, this one is indeed spicy. Like I can definitely oh, feel yeah. it heating up. I usually will pop out some of those seeds in the jalapeno. They Whoa! gave it to us just the way it Whoa! is. I will say it's very soft. Like when you go get like market sushi, the rice is hard. The rice is usually hard. This is like really soft. Like you know they made it today. They just had to keep it cold. Salmon is redder than any kind of salmon I've seen at markets. Yeah, like it definitely has vibrant. It's vibrant. I feel like the quality is really up there. It's very smooth, it's no fishy. Uh-huh. Like it's really nice sushi. Like I haven't had sushi like this from a market. It's got spice that comes in. Do you taste I, that? It is, I think it's the jalapenos. That's the only thing I can think of that's spicy in there. Oh, maybe there's, is that spicy tuna on the inside? Oh, uh, it might be spicy tuna. It looks like there's spicy tuna on the inside of this. And I will say those red onions give it a good little flavor profile to it. I don't know, out of the two so far though, oh, is that a hair? Huh. Huh. It, might, it might have came from the environment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of environment that came from. We're outside in a parking lot. Oh, that looks kind of dark. That's thick. That is a thick hair. It looks like a nose hair. Oh, either a nose hair or like a beard hair, but neither of us have a long enough beard to do that hair. What do we think about this black rice salmon? This black rice salmon thing is catching my eye because I've never seen black rice. No. Oh. But we can't discriminate. Exactly, we love all color rices here. Yeah. So here we go. What, what exactly is inside? So there's seaweed, there's Cu salmon, cucumber, cucumber a, avocado. That's about it. And that's it. Wow, rice texture is weird. Oh my God. Anyone with no soy sauce. It's like a little bubbly. I don't think that's rice. I don't think it's rice either. What the hell is that? It's like black rice. I'm not really sure how I feel about this black rice. It says it's black rice. There's this thing inside of it called Lakanto, which is a sweetener. It's I don't sea salt. really taste anything sweet in this. It's almost like a dull kind of flavor. Like the rice, look, there's more hair in this. There ain't no way I paid a hundred dollars worth of hair. Put another video. What the? F now we know it's not us, guys. Like, is that hair though? What else could that be? Definitely an eyelash. That's an eyelash. Yeah. And there was literally my roll on top of that because I just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Back to what I was saying though, the rice guys, honestly, I'm not I'm not a fan of the rice. Like it it breaks apart in your mouth like a grain of some sort, but not like yeah, a normal it, rice sticky. I don't taste think it's actual it. rice. I think it's some kind of fake organic rich people shit. That's just nasty. I ain't about that shit. I don't like that at all. I, oh. Where's the normal sushi, man? I feel like I wasted a hundred dollars so far. And I feel bad because that guy in there was so damn nice. Yeah, I said I heard this is the best sushi, he ignored me. So maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe there was a reason why I ignored you. This is the Daily Sushi Special. It's three ounces. Organic cucumber, organic avocado, organic onion, organic serrano pepper, wild salmon, wild tuna, organic brown rice, organic rice vinegar, leganto, sea salt, ginger, wasabi. There's just a lot of stuff in here, okay? And it all a lot starts with organic. I think let's start with this avocado one over here. So it looks like there's avocado, spicy mayo, avocado inside, and spicy tuna. Mmm. Mm. Okay. We up. Now we're talking. Mmm. That one hits. That, that one's, one's creamy. Because there's avocado on the top and there's avocado in the middle. So you're getting like a whole mouthful of avocado and wow. Wow. That was really nice. That was insane in the membrane. That one I could literally insane. just swallow. Got no brain. Moving on to this one that looks like it's seared salmon on top with, uh, what is that inside? Salmon? Fresh salmon, yeah. Fresh salmon on the inside with some avocado. Let's try it. Wow. Mm. This whole plate has been good. Oh wow, that's pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. I like that one. Wow. I like sushi that you barely have to chew. You hold my hand? I thought about it. Like that one, I could literally chew it with the top of my mouth. Like if you had no teeth, you could still take that one down pretty easily. Very good. You can take a lot of things down with no teeth. Moving on, we're gonna try the crispy onion sushi roll. On the inside, it looks like spicy tuna and avocado, and on top, obviously, the crispy onions. 
Mmm. What what I found out so far is the crispy stuff is pretty good, and the and the seared stuff is pretty good. Yeah. The regular sushi is all right. You know. Taking a quick break from the sushi, I am definitely thirsty. So let's try some bohemian raspberry smoothie. A USDA organic. Literally everything in this store is organic. It might be. I think everything. Everything you read, every ingredient was organic. Yeah, before. it might be an organic store. Oh, man. That's like being in a different country on the beach, just drinking oh. something that they made for you right Ooh, there. Oh, I wish I had some tequila in it. Oh, my God. That is nice. That is like a, a really fresh smoothie. But then again, how can you not make a fresh smoothie? Like, it's not that hard to do. Like, obviously, you can just throw a bohemian in front of anything, you know? Like, this is a bohemian <laughs> iPhone. God damn it. All right, so lastly, we got the sushi dragon roll. It comes with organic cucumber, organic avocado, eel, Real crab, ginger, wasabi, nori, origami. 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 <laughs> Come on, it doesn't have origami in it. And teriyaki. Anywhere else I would go, this would be called a fisherman's roll. But here it's called a something dragon, so let's let's try it. And usually when you go out to oh, sushi, dropped a piece. this is like hot sushi. Yeah. This roll. This roll is usually pretty hot. Mmm. Mm. Definitely not hot here. And sometimes with eels, you, they have the little bones that they don't get out. Really? So, yeah. I've never had to experience oh, that. Oh, there's one right here. Oh no, that's not bad. That's some skin. We've tried every piece of sushi here now. Now we can give our actual, like, review of what we think about Air One Sushi. Yeah. Is it worth it? I think if you're in a hurry and you gotta get a quick bite, it's good. It's good, but they have so many more options in there for probably better food. That yeah. is. Yeah. But we're here to compare the sushi, the sushi compared to actual going to a sushi restaurant. Right. right and I think, I think for the price that we paid, I would have much rather have gone and sat down at that sushi restaurant and had an experience, had a fresh sushi made for me right there on the spot, not something that was made at 9 a.m. this morning. I agree. I agree. I think it's good compared to like a Ralphs, a Vons, a Sprouts, but it's not nowhere near actually going to a restaurant yeah. and spending the same amount of money. Exactly. So. You guys do that math in your head. Do you want to spend the yeah. same money and get some really fresh, or you want to get something that was made earlier this morning? Yeah, but you should, we, should we go back to there and try like one of their fresh pizzas or something another day? Maybe. I mean, look, you guys saw how many different restaurants and how many different things they have inside of there. Let us know. Do you want us to go back to Air One and try another expensive meal? Let us know while we eat this cake. This is the raw, sugar-free strawberry Ooh. pie. It's a raw cake. I really don't know how you could have sugar-free strawberries, because strawberries have a natural sugar in it. So it almost makes me think, is it not real strawberries? I don't know, but it's not. It's a raw cake. It's not cooked. Okay, well, that's interesting. Wow. Good? Wow, kind of good, though. Hmm. Tastes like Nesquik strawberry milk. It's very thick, very creamy. It's almost like a texture of like icing mm. on a cake, but it's just straight strawberry flavored. It's a little bit strong for me. I have to go for a crust. Mm. It's interesting to say the least. I'm just a fat ass, so I eat everything. It's definitely like a grain based crust. It's all organic, you know? Yeah, the crust is better than the actual yeah. flavoring of the strawberry. We do have a lot more food here. I honestly don't even think I'm gonna finish this food because I didn't really like it that much. To be honest, yeah. it was a waste of money. <laughs> but let us know if you want us to go back to Air One and try something else. Let us know in the comments down below. Sorry we had to kind of do this in the sidewalk right here, but we're working with the environment and what we got. I said, let's go home. Brian said, no, I want to go look at that furniture store. So that's I why we're like here. Furniture stores, but we can't go all the way home with this sushi. I'm just gonna eat it fresh. Now my past is in front of me. I can run no more. I'm scared. They say that love is cheap and that's why I'm unprepared